This week, someone you should know is a contractor that gets it when it comes to using new technology. After all, its birthplace is in Silicon Valley. In the beginning, it made a name for itself in technical building. But during the past 25 years, it has expanded its expertise in healthcare, science, and education. At the heart of it all, XL Construction is really focused on strong partnerships, a commitment to sustainability, and innovation at the job site. Here to tell us all about it is Hitesh Dewan, Operations Technology Manager at XL Construction. Hitesh, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me, Peggy. So let's talk about some of the technology things that are happening. What do you see happening right now with technology? What's your thoughts? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of advancements. I think uh, just looking at the way the construction industry has been integrating technology, going from essentially what was office technology now into the field, now the real trend is actually enabling everybody that's in the field with some level of technology that can actually help uh, advance what they're doing and make, uh, make their product faster, better, safer, higher quality. Are your trade partners in technology, the way you're working, do you find them helping steer technology one way versus another these days? Actually, yes. Um, you know, I have to say from a general contractor's point of view, uh, working with some of our sub-trades that are in the, in the field and, and truly trade partners, these guys have the ability to really help steer the way that we want to absorb the information they're creating. Because really, the trade partners are the ones that are actually putting that work in the field. They're the ones that are creating it. The production line is in their hands. And uh, they're really the ones that are working hard at actually integrating technology to make their process faster. So how do you see things happening in construction a little differently? Because right now, technology in construction is really changing very rapidly, faster than it's ever done in the past yeah. when we look at construction. Is that something that for you, staying abreast of the changes, is almost difficult in some ways? You know, the changes are so fast that it's really hard to even stop and say, you know what, we're going to try this out. Um, you, you really can't just stop and try anything. You kind of have to roll with the punches. And a lot of the technology that's coming out these days is app based because really the platforms these days have, have been created. You know, you've got your tablets, you've got your phones and even camera technology is pretty much, you know, it's, it's kind of hit its peak in a way. Um, but how we take that data, how we move that data, how we analyze it, that's really where the, the game changers are right now. So what, in your view, is the largest, I guess, impact, both either positive or negative, that you're feeling? Uh, largest impact in the technology that we're using? Yeah, in the technology, in the field that you would say, or even, you know, what sure. you're seeing in the office. Well, there's a lot of analyzation that's going on. So, you know, getting leading indicators on safety, uh, that's a big, big trend right now, making sure that we can get ahead of any issues that could possibly arise. I mean, we have the data from years and years now, so may, being sure that we actually analyze that data and then use it to our advantage forward, that's the biggest impact. How about training? Because when you talk about that safety or you talk about all these things, I would think that that now becomes a big factor because if technology is changing, you have to think about safety and what you're doing with your employees because we have this changing of the guard, so to speak. Absolutely. So at Excel, we have a director of training and development that actually sets up the training paths for both office and field. And we have uh, dedicated safety training when it comes to safety. We have dedicated training for user applications, for user platforms, for software, anything else. We essentially, before rolling out or during rollout, are involving the parties that are going to be using that, that tool or that technology and ensuring that they're using it to its fullest capacity. Have you seen a big transformation in, at, at Excel in what they're doing with technology lately versus how you've been there for a while now? Is you seen how they embrace technology to make them competitive in the marketplace? Absolutely. You know, all general contractors are looking for that leading advantage. And what we've done, of course, is, is a little out of the box. Uh, my role, along with a few others in our BDC and BIM department, uh, we're a little unorthodox. You know, we, we as a general contractor are really trying to, to steer the technology where really traditionally the GC has always followed the trade partner in their adoption of prefabrication, for example, or their adoption of a safety analytics type of tool. So, you know, what we're doing now is we're visualizing job sites ahead of time. We're laser scanning beyond, you know, before we're even asked to do it at this point, because really we know that the value is getting ahead of that curve being able to capture that information and be able to then use it. So 
Yeah, I think uh, general contractors have been jumping on board. And I know that Excel, you know, like I said, we've, we've got our own laser scanner, our own total station in-house. We have a team of guys that know how to use it. And we jump out there and use it as quickly as we can. And do you see what's happening today might even be different in a couple of years? You couldn't have said that 10 years ago in construction, that things would change that fast. Do you see yourself even being different a few years from now than what you are today? Absolutely, yeah. So we've been talking about what's the world going to be like 10 years from now. You know, it's, a, it's actually a talk going on right now. And um, Can even you even imagine next, that, though? <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. Even in three to five years, you know, you start to think about, well, right now the type of technology that we have is – is uh, bringing us to a faster pace. You know, it's, it's making us do things quicker in a less amount of time and, and higher quality. So really, you know, one of, our, one of our imagination type of ideas was, well, you know, in 10 years, maybe we won't be working eight hour days because we're doing eight hours worth of work. Well, you know, who works an eight hour day? But yeah, maybe you're not doing that because you're doing that work faster in four hours. But realistically, we're probably just gonna be doing double the work. That's really what's gonna happen is we're gonna be advancing the amount of work that we can get done um, very short, very short in the future. So do you th see training differently, you know, your, your mm -hmm. employees and how you have them, that they'll be using technology in different ways to build things differently? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, uh, the way that we, well, training differently for sure, uh, the way that training is now, everybody has a device in their hands. Everybody has the ability, like this show, to be able to watch it and view it from anywhere that they want. And the same thing goes for training. You know, there's no need to gather everybody in a room now and sit them down in front of a screen and do a training when now you can democratize it, so to speak, and now everybody has it in their hands. And then that, the same thing goes for all the technology that we use. You know, you don't have a, a band leader that's in front that's making everybody kind of march to that beat when really everybody has the ability to do it in their hands now. It's so exciting to hear you talk about the future. Thank you so much for being with us, and I'd love to learn more about what XL Construction's doing in the future because you definitely are someone we should know. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, Peggy. Appreciate it.